Welcome to our Creo Learning Series, and I'm Trisha from Product Labs. Today we'll be talking about session number 13, Sheet Metal Basics. How does sheet metal process differs from other modeling models? Where is it used? These are some of the questions we need to answer before we get into details of this session. So I'm here to help you with some of the answers. First, sheet metal process is primarily used to design cabinets, enclosures, and outer bodies of machines or equipments. Second, it's a process of defining geometry such that sheet metal can be cut, bent, or punched to meet product requirements. And third, die, punch, bend, and unbend are some of the commonly used commands in sheet metal module. So let's get started with session 13 on sheet metal basics next in this series. Launch Creo and click on the button labeled as new. In the pop-up window, select part under type menu and select sheet metal option under subtype menu. Name the file, uncheck use default template option and click on OK button. Select the unit type and click on OK button. Creo modeling interface opens up with sheet metal features. In order to create sheet metal part, first step is to create planar wall. So, click on the button labeled as planar in top menu bar. Select top plane as reference. We'll draw a rectangle based on the required size of the planar wall. Now, click on OK button to proceed. Now you can see that a wall is created with a default thickness of 1 mm. Sheet thickness can be changed from this entry field. Now, click on OK. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. In the next step, we would be adding side walls into this flat sheet. So, click on the button labeled as flat in the top menu bar. Now, we have to define reference edge which can be used to grow the flat wall. We'll be selecting this edge as a reference edge. Now you can see a is formed through the selected edge. We can flip the wall direction by selecting the other edge on the same face. All the parameters like thickness, angle, bend radius for this wall can be edited from the menu in the top. We can change the type of bend from this drop down menu. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. Now change the orientation to front. In this drop down menu, we can set different types of predefined shapes of sheet metal wall. User defined shape can also be done from here. Having selected user defined in the drop down, click on the shape tab and then click on sketch button. Now we can draw our custom sketch for the wall. Now, click on OK button. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. Now, we'll learn to create relief in sheet metal bends. For this, we'll go back to sketch mode and edit this profile. Once sketch is done, click on OK button. Press Ctrl plus D 
to fit the model into screen. This is the area where we need relief for proper bend. Now change the orientation and click on relief tab. Here in this drop down menu, we have options to select relief types. We'll choose stretch relief for now. Now we can observe that sheet metal at both the bent corners has been stretched. Press Ctrl plus D now to fit the model into screen. Now we'll make another kind of bend relief. For this, we'll edit the flat one feature in the model tree. Change the orientation to top view. Now, click on Relief tab once again and select Rectangular Relief. Relief parameters can be changed from here. We can try out another kind of relief option as well. Now, click on OK button to finish this. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model. Now, we'll learn to create flange at an edge of planar surface of sheet. So, let us click on the button labeled as flange on the top menu bar. Select the edge to be used for flange creation. The moment we select the edge, flange is formed. Edge can be changed to switch the flange direction. Change the model orientation to front for easy viewing. We can change the flange type from this drop down menu. Joggle, S type, Hem, and many more varieties are there to choose from. Parameters of this flange can also be edited from the menu in the top. User defined option is also available, which enables us to draw a custom shape. For this, Click on Shape tab and then click on Sketch. Again in the pop-up window, click on Sketch button. Now we can draw the shape we want. Click on OK button now. Now we can see that wall is formed based on custom sketch. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into graphical window. Change the orientation of the wall and modify the length. We can modify the length from the menu options displayed in the top as well. Once length is reduced, we can choose different types of relief options from relief tab. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. Now click on OK button. Now we'll learn as how to offset the faces. So click on the button labeled as offset and select the face to be offsetted. After selection, we can pull it by required distance. Click on OK to complete the operation. Now you can see that an additional offsetted wall is created. Now, delete offset feature. We can create holes of different shapes in the sheet using extrude command as shown here.
Click on OK button to complete the extrude process. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. Now we'll raise side walls for remaining two sides to make it a closed box. So first, we'll cut the square corner to provide relief for bending which can be done by extrude command. Now, click on OK button to finish it. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. Now, click on button labeled as flat to create wall on both the edges one by one. Now, reduce the height of this wall to match with another one. This can be done by pulling it down. Now press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into window. Next step is to match the walls at the corners by extending them. So first select the face to be extended and then click on button labeled as extend in the menu bar. Now. Out of three available options, we need to select appropriate one for wall extension. Here, we have reference plane available, so we'll go with third option. After selecting third option, select on the reference plane, which is defined by mating wall at 90 degree. Now, click on OK button to complete. In the same fashion, we have to extend another edge as well to close the box completely. Now, the sheet metal model is complete. And we have to check it by performing unbend operation. So, Click on the button labeled as Unbend. And if model is able to unbend, blank cutting can be done without any issue. Therefore, this check is very important for all the sheet metal parts. Now we can bend the sides back by selecting option Bend Back in the top menu. Now, click on OK button to complete it. Next, we can create a flat pattern also for this part by clicking on button labeled as flat pattern. Now, click on OK button to finish this. In the model tree, we can deactivate some of the features at the bottom so that model would again change back to box shape. This can be done by pulling the green arrow upwards in the model tree. This ends the basic sheet metal design session. Thank you. Welcome back guys. Trust that learning with Product Labs has been a fun filled journey so far. As the second part of this learning session, we'll be creating sheet metal part by extrude model. So let's begin. Displayed part can be modeled in traditional way by creating a flat wall first and then adding walls to the sides. But there is another way of doing this where we can perform this task in one step only. And to do this, we'll be using extrude feature in sheet metal. These are the dimensions which can be used to create this part. So, now let us open a new blank sheet metal part to create this model. First, we'll switch on the datum planes and axis. And then click on extrude button in the top menu bar. Now define the sketching plane and orientation to sketch the U profile of the part.
add all the fillets and constraints and dimension them. Make the sketch symmetric about center line by using symmetry constraint. Once the sketch is done, right click anywhere in the graphical area and select the option Thicken from pop-up menu. You can notice that an arrow is displayed which shows the direction of thickening the section with respect to the sketch. We can flip this direction by selecting Flip option in this menu. After setting the direction, click on OK. Now we have to enter the thickening value here. We'll keep the thickness as 2mm in this example. Now click on OK button to finish it. Now adjust the length of this extrude feature to complete the part. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. Here we can see that the part is created by one single feature and same is reflecting in the model tree as well. This completes the basic learning of sheet metal modeling in Creo Parametric. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can find us on social media. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.